As forgetting Sarah Marshall reminds us, yoga is not always as easy as it looks, but it may be worth the struggle. In today's Morning Rounds, new research shows yoga may be as good for your heart as certain aerobic workouts. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York, and she joins us at the table. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, what did the study show? So this study showed that the practice of yoga, which has been around for 5,000 years, may have more benefits on our cardiovascular system than we thought. This study looked at 37 prior studies and pooled together about 3,000 individuals and compared those who did yoga to those who didn't. Those who practiced yoga had lower blood pressure, lower LDL or bad cholesterol, lower body mass, index and increased or improved HDL or good cholesterol. In addition, when they compared those who did yoga to those who did more traditional aerobic exercise, the benefits seemed similar. So there wasn't really a difference in how effective those two strategies were. So how does it do this to your body? Right, so yoga is a combination of three things, different postures or poses, breathing and meditation. In terms of the posture aspect, there's probably benefits to the muscles and how they process blood sugar, as well as a little bit of improved aerobic fitness, depending on how strenuous the yoga is. But most importantly is really the breathing and meditation part. That's where you're using Using that time to turn off the stress response that's constantly on during the day. You're lowering your blood pressure, lowering your heart rate and your respiratory rate, and decreasing those stress hormones that can increase inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so by doing that, you're improving your metabolism, lowering inflammation, and changing how your body reacts to stress, not just at the time of yoga, but potentially throughout the rest of the day by practicing mindfulness. Well, listen, I've tried it three times, and other than <laughs> hating the bending, the twisting, the breathing, the stretching, I thought it was great. So, <laughs> So here's a question for you. A, do you do yoga? <laughs> I did try yoga at one time in my life, but I don't practice it currently. So do you actually think it's better for us than running on a, on a treadmill? So, you know, the science behind yoga is evolving. It's still in its infancy. I think that there are absolutely benefits, and probably in time, we are going to recommend it as standard part of our routine. Right now, though, the guidelines still do have the science to back up the aerobic fitness. And the recommendations are 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity exercise, or 70 five minutes of vigorous intensity exercise. That's but what it, the American yeah. Heart Association right. recommends, 150 minutes a week exactly. of aerobic exercise. Yeah. That's a lot. But mm -hmm. you know, there's benefits to this yeah. for people who are elderly, who have conditions that don't allow them mm -hmm. to do aerobic exercise, either joint or muscle problems, or for those people who say, I don't really want to go out and exercise, yes. and this offers them another option. So will the doctor take her own advice that you're telling everybody <laughs> since you've only done it once? <laughs> I think I might. I'm going to go buy a yoga mat right after this. Uh -huh. You also are going into meditation, you suggest. That's right, yes. I have heard good things about that. I actually think that works. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, Dr. Nice Terry, always.